Do you have a slick, well-rehearsed public relations front? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been with me now for, what, five years, haven't you done? And as you know, I'm pretty much identical in public as I am in private, right? So, so I wouldn't call that a slick public relations front. If I've got a slick front, then it's always there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I think though, and, and this is one of the reasons too why we don't edit videos and we don't, you know, we just put things on as, it, as they are because we feel quite strongly that things should be presented exactly in the manner in which they occurred. We don't feel that truth is served by modification or prettying up something. It is how it is. What happened, happened. Warts and all, it happened. And we feel even with ourselves, warts and all, we're happy to present ourselves truthfully to everyone. Everyone in that process will see how we change as we grow in love and as we grow in humility and truth. Everyone will see how we change. When we change, they'll be able to say, that's what they, he was like then and that's what he's like now, but that's very different. And that's what she was like then and that's what she's like now and that's very different. And they'll be able to make comparisons. And then they'll be able to see that what we're teaching actually works. Mm -hmm. If a person continuously makes a sort of like slick front, then you're getting a heavily modified version of what the person actually is. Now, that's not good for the person because the person is, if they're really going to become in harmony with the principles of what we teach, they need to come face to face, in, like I so often say in my presentations, like a mirror. It's like a mirror put in front of me that, that I can look at and go, come face to face with myself. And I need to come face to face with myself. So any time I desire, if I desired to modify something, I'm not willing to come face to face with something in myself. So for example, if we did a video and then we found, oh, we didn't like that bit and we didn't like this bit and we didn't like that bit, they're all just things that we don't want to come face to face with ourselves about. It's far better to come face to face with ourselves about all things if we truly want to grow, particularly if we want to grow towards God, because God sees ourselves as we truly are. He sees us clearly. We need to see ourselves clearly if we're ever going to become at one with God. So I don't believe in a slick public relations front. I believe in everything being just as it is, warts and all. That's my way of dealing with all issues. Great. Okay. Maybe I can point out too there that sometimes with Lena and Igor, with editing the videos even, we've had these kind of things. Where they say, oh, should we take that out? I go, no, no, leave that in. That's fine. You know, like we can correct that later or whatever um, if it's an error. Um, rather than have it all nice and slick and polished, you know, because, because slick polish doesn't allow the character to show through. It also doesn't allow the, um, the, the audience to determine progress over a period of time. All it does is a, it, 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 it's just a way of maintaining a facade. And I've done many talks about facade, maintaining facade, I've had a talk about the three selves, the facade self. We've had a talk about the facade self and what it, you know, what it is and, and what it prevents us from doing. So, you know, for us to then maintain a facade <laughs> on any level would be completely hypocritical and out of harmony with our own teachings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.